Happy Valentine's, everybody! Um, today we're going to be celebrating not just Valentine's Day, but somebody's little brother, Joey. It's his birthday! So me and those are going to make a secret cake for him before he gets home from class because he went to class today to learn to be a good boy. So we're going to make him a dog cake because that's what we do on Valentine's Day for the ones we love. You do love him, you just, it's indifferent. So this recipe is uh, technically safe for humans. Granted, the cake won't have sugar in it, so it might be a little bland for you, but you know, you can eat it. But also your dog, I mean, depending. Check out your dog, make sure there's restrictions, you know, a little bit As far as we know, this is okay for Joey, so we're gonna make Joey the surprise cake. So again, guys, this is gonna be what you need for this recipe. Okay, for this recipe, all you're gonna need is a cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth of a cup of vegetable oil, or your guesstimation of that's about an eighth, I believe, uh, a half a cup of applesauce, a half a cup of pumpkin puree, um, a quarter cup of peanut butter, and one egg. So, that's all you need. Not too bad, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix some of this stuff, and we're gonna put it in a pan, and then we're also gonna make a frosting that is dog-friendly, We'll do that uh, after I get the cake mixed up. Okay. okay. First, we're going to combine our flour and our baking soda. So it's a cup of flour and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Cool. Whisk it. In a separate bowl, we're going to now mix our wet ingredients. So let's get our applesauce in here. Uh, our pumpkin puree, peanut butter, oil, let's mix this up first, egg. Now you're going to mix your dry ingredients with your wet ingredients. I'm just going to put my wet ingredients in this bowl, so. Hang on. Conduct yourself with dignity, sir. You're gonna take your grease pan. This is for an eight round pan cake mix malfunction. Eight, eight inch. Okay, put your stuff in here. So I may have kind of forgot to preheat my oven, so I gotta wait a little bit, but preheat your oven at 350 degrees. You're gonna put this in, it should be 25 to 30 minutes, or stick a toothpick in it, and when you come pull it strong, when you see it, there shouldn't be anything on it. That means it's done. It should also be a little bit like, a, a little pushback to it. Like, it should be like, hey, I'm ready. Something like that, okay? So, uh, yeah guys, so just as soon as your oven preheats, put this in, and now we're gonna also be making our frosting. Okay, so in another bowl, I'm not gonna show you this, all you need is two ingredients. So you're gonna need a quarter cup of peanut butter, or more so, whatever gets stuck. Peanut butter sticky. This is for a half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. This didn't say Greek, but it's plain yogurt, and it's non-fat, so I'm sure that's okay. It's okay. You're gonna put this in the fridge and set it aside so it stays cold until the cake is done so we can frost it. All right. All right, so the cake is done. It's cooling down now. So I'm gonna cut this actually into a heart shape because it's Valentine's Day and Joey, he's a loving boy. So let's make him a loving cake. No! Oh, Joey, I'm so sorry. I messed up your cake. Oh, gosh. It's like, oh, let me do something nice. The world. No. How about you don't? It's like glue. It's like glue. Oh, uh -huh. oh no. Happy birthday to Joey. 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 Happy birthday to Joey.
So guys, if you have a dog in your life that you love so much, make it a cake this uh, Valentine's or for his birthday. This was Joey's Valentine's birthday because he's a loving boy and we love him so much. So um, I would eat this, but here, I'll do this. Mm, peanut butter, that's not what I like. I don't like yogurt, but it is, you can consume this, not this part, but th this part, not this part. Okay, well, we're gonna go celebrate. Say 